Hey guys, I'm Mel, and today we're going to learn how to contour using the Aesthetica Contouring Kit. It's amazing, it's perfect. There's literally everything that you need right here, which for me is awesome because I'm tired of having to like grab 10 different things out of my bag to try to figure out how to look like this. <laughs> so I actually have my friend Natalia come over to help me because I have no idea where to even begin with contouring. Half the time I end up looking like I have stripes and that's never the look we're going for when we're trying to contour. The entire routine from start to finish will take you anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. And it's so easy to incorporate into your daily routine. So let's get started. We went ahead and started with my base makeup and my eyes. Natalia helped show me how to find the perfect shade for my foundation and also how to achieve a perfect daytime smoky eye. Once we were finished, I was ready to learn how to contour. Before you begin, start by identifying your face shape. If you don't know what your face shape is, there's a great little diagram in the Aesthetica booklet that will help you identify it. No matter what your face shape is, we're going to highlight and accentuate the same features. Natalia starts off by pointing out my cheekbone and jawline. Our first step in contouring is defining our cheekbone. Start by choosing a color that's about two to three shades darker than your skin tone. Using the thick end of your double-headed brush, draw a line from the top of your ear down straight towards your mouth, ending just before your laugh line. As you get closer to your laugh line, make sure that you get gradually lighter. Remember, you don't want to swipe on the color, you want to blend it in and really work it into your skin. You might have noticed that I'm using the double-ended brush here. I'm using the larger side to apply the contour and then I'm easily flipping it around and using the smaller side to blend into my skin. Am I doing it right? <laughs> A great trick is to make the fish face. It'll show you exactly where the hollows in your cheeks are and that's where you apply your contour. And now we're on to step two, the jawline. Accentuating the jawline is going to help to define and frame our face as well as add some dimension between our neck and our face. To finish framing our face, we're just going to contour a little bit around our hairline. How much or little you need to contour around your hairline is all going to depend on the shape of your face and the size of your forehead. This is a great time to reference back to that face shape diagram if you need to. Don't worry if the line from the contour looks a little bit too harsh. Just take one of your large domed brushes and blend it out until it looks a little bit more natural. And now it's time to move over to our nose. For this, I switched over to the smallest brush in the kit. Begin by applying color starting at the inside corner of your eyebrow and going straight down along the ridge of your nose. You're going to do this on both sides of your nose, creating parallel lines on either side. This creates a great slimming effect for your nose. Make sure that when you're doing this, you're holding the brush straight up and down and creating a slim line down your nose and not laying the brush flat and creating a thick line. That's it for the contouring, so now it's time to move on to the highlights. I like to keep a completely separate double-headed brush handy for when I switch over to highlights. This helps save me a lot of time since I don't have to clean my brushes in between contouring and highlighting. We've already slimmed down our face by hollowing out our cheekbones, so now it's time to really make our cheeks pop. We start off by using the smaller end of the double-headed brush and using the color Radiance to apply just on top of my cheekbone. Figuring out where you need to apply your highlight is super easy. All you have to do is smile and your cheeks will show you exactly where to go. This highlight line is basically going right above where we contoured earlier. As always, make sure you're continuing to blend the color in and not swipe it. Now that we've added some highlight on top of where we did the contour, we're also going to go ahead and add some underneath. This is really gonna help to define your cheeks even more and really make them stand out. Now that our cheeks are looking super defined, we're gonna move on to our T-zone. Start from the center of your eyebrows and work the color straight down the center of your nose. After you've really blended the color in there well, we're gonna move on to the forehead. We're applying the highlight in a downward triangle shape with the point meeting in the center of my brows. 
Again, if you're starting to notice that there's too much of a difference between the highlighting and the contour, all you have to do is take a big brush and blend it out. That's the best thing about this kit. It's so easy to play with and there's no mistake you can't fix. We've been adding highlights on the areas of our face that the sun really picks up. Another one of these areas is our chin. This area is a subtle highlight and we just want to dab a little bit in the center of our chin. But if you make a mistake like I did and add a little too much, you can just switch back to the contour brush and redefine that jawline again. Now I'm switching back to my smallest brush to apply a little bit of highlight in my cupid's bow. One of my favorite places to add a bit more highlighting is under my brows. To do this, I continued using the smallest brush, but I switched over to the color Glow. I applied the color falling right underneath my eyebrow. You'll see a difference immediately. Your eyebrows will pop, I promise. And that's it. You've created the perfect daytime contour look. You can always come back later and darken your contour to take your look from day to night. Oh yeah, don't forget your favorite lip color and then you're ready to go.